So in this video, we're going to look at what can you see with these maps. Um, really, really important to um, remember is that um, these maps can't show you what the problem is. It can only show you where the problem is and um, how spread out the problem is. So if we look at these maps, um, you will see that there's variations in colors. So um, this orange here can't tell you that this is uh, some kind of bug and this red here can't tell you that this is maybe a, a fungus. All it tells you is the state of, um, of, these, um, uh, of these fields. Uh, it really just tells you am I healthy or am I not healthy uh, and if same same applies with moisture it just shows you variances is there a little moisture or if this is there more moisture um, so that's the most important thing that you need to remember about um, these maps so essentially these maps show you plant stress or plant health um, and then this map shows you uh, moisture and uh, and so on but we'll talk about these individual layers in, uh, in uh, next videos um, so how do you actually find out what um, uh, is actually happening on spots like this or, or there now if you have enough context you can actually take a guess um, otherwise you will have to actually go into the field and check it out or speak to the farmer um, uh, and find out um, whether he maybe knows what the problem is so um, what you can actually also do is, um, is to look at patterns to actually make a better guess at things. Um, so let's use this as an example. So here you can see a concentric circle. So we've got a little bit of context here. We know that uh, this is a pivot point. And uh, most likely have a pivot point running here. Uh, and that's kind of why you have uh, this circle here. So my best guess is that, that this is a mechanical issue. This is maybe a, a clogged nozzle. but I don't know for sure. Um, so you'll see that um, I've asked a question here. Is this possibly a clogged nozzle uh, or what's happening here? And then you need to go and check out what the problem is. So that's the one thing you can do. You can look at um, circles as a, as a pattern. The other thing you can also do um, is look at um, shapes like um, vertical lines or horizontal lines uh, because that normally gives you an idea of whether this is man-made or natural. This doesn't look very natural to me. I, I don't. I don't think a bug would eat so precisely on a, in a line like this. So uh, my guess would be that this is maybe a different uh, variety or cultivar that they've planted here. Um, but I don't know for sure. So once again, I will have to go and walk into this field and find out what the um, what the thing is. The other thing that you can also keep in mind is to look at um, um, like just general uh, patterns. Like I can see that this is um, a field that's very green, and these fields are um, red um, or orange. And uh, the reason for this is probably because they were planted at different times or the different. Um, completely different crop types. So this might be uh, maize and this might be um, sunflower. I, I have no idea, but uh, that's uh, one way to actually um, look at these maps and interpret them. So very important, very importantly, uh, they don't show you what the problem is, only where the problem is, and you need to either go and do some ground truthing to find out what the problem is, um, or if you've got enough context, you will um, have a very good guess at what the problems might be.